Hey guys, we are going to be talking Periscope today. Hello. Uh, we're going to talk Periscope. I'm going to share my five tips uh, to more successful Periscope sessions. Uh, and by more successful, I mean more engaging, uh, more attendees, more conversions, uh, things like that. So for me, Periscope has been huge, huge, huge and getting people not only onto my email list and making sales, but growth on my other social media channels. So we're going to talk about how we have done that. Hey to everyone who's joining. Hi, Grace. The other names skip by way too fast. I'm sorry. Be sure to leave a comment below and tell me where in the world you are today. Uh, hi, Irene from the Female Entrepreneurs Association. Very cool. Thank you for the hearts. Keep those coming. I have a gold hit 50,000 hearts this week. We're at 20,000 right now. So I would love your support on that. So keep that going. Uh, Houston in the house. Hello. Uh, Jen Scalia is here. Uh, ooh, from Singapore. Very cool, Irene. Uh, Brandy63 is here. Thank you for the hearts. Keep them coming all through the session. Uh, hi, Jen. As you agree or have thoughts, share them in the comments. Remember, this is a two-way conversation. This is not sort of a broadcast at you. This is a conversation with you. Uh, and so that is what I want to talk about today. For those of you who don't know who I am, and do this for me, if you are brand new, uh, hello, Kalita. Uh, if you are brand new and this is your first scope with me, or maybe it's your first engagement with me at all, tell me in the comments. Hit Say new or something like that. Uh, and tell me uh, that because I'm curious to know how many folks are new. And the reason I do this is because I have had some serious success with people who are brand new to me. Uh, and that is not necessarily always the uh, new and NYC. Very cool. That is not always, uh, Irene is new, but uh, saw a replay of previous Periscope. Cool. Um, that's not always the case. Usually with social media channels and email is really in anything, uh, it takes some time to get to know each other. It takes some time. Uh, but what's really cool is I've had some people who were super new uh, and have gone right from here. Like the first ex exposure they had to me was a scope and uh, they jumped on my list or they purchased something. And that's really cool. It's really powerful uh, that it's, it's such a, you know, it speaks not to the the speediness at which we can get people to do things, but in the connection you can make and how quickly that connection can happen. Uh, and so that's something to really pay attention to with Periscope, okay? All right, so keep the hearts coming, keep the comments coming. Remember, two-way conversation. For those who are brand new, I am Dee Stacey Harris. I'm a social media uh, coach. I teach social media through programs. Uh, like the Rockstar Guide to Periscope and Hangouts and podcasting. Uh, we're going to have a new one, a couple of new ones coming out at the end of this year, beginning of next year. Uh, the Periscope Guide is brand, brand new. It's actually still in our early bird uh, soft launch kind of time. And I'll probably talk about that later because I have a special gift for you guys. Um, but yeah, so it's that's what I do. You can find out more at thesecheros.com. I'm also a podcaster and I have a web show. Uh, and I love, love, love Periscope because my favorite parts of social media are engagement. My favorite parts of social media are the uh, are are the times where we get to to talk to each other and not at each other. And, and so Periscope is really awesome for that. Also, I really love that Periscope is hard to fake. It's hard to uh, to come in and, and automate this. It's hard to come in and uh, outsource this. Uh, to get results, you have to do the work and. And by do the work, I mean come in and, and show up for your community. Represent that leadership role that we all have in our communities. Uh, no matter how big or small your community may be or how new you are, you are a leader to your community. And so this gives you a platform to go in and talk to them and lead them uh, and teach them and, and help make their lives better. Cool? Cool. All right. Like I said, keep the comments coming. Uh, I'm so busy I don't have time to scope every day. Jen, I am also extremely busy and I find the time to scope every day. Um, but that doesn't mean you have to scope every day. It does end up being about 30 minutes. Um, if you need to do it shorter, do it shorter. Hello, Dina. Uh, you know, find the time though. Put it on your calendar as if it were a webinar or a client call or something like that. Make the space for it in your schedule because it is a powerful way to engage. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, I saw Jen a uh, Periscope you did uh, talking about your bank accounts or something and I saw the engagement you had with your community that is powerful 
think about how difficult it is to get that level of connection and engagement in 30 minutes. Uh, that's, that's insane. Uh, and so Periscope can do that if you make the time for it. Um, and you know, remember to take, take part in the repurposing of that content and let that, that 30 minutes of content work for you over and over again. When you talk about the long-term benefits of Periscope content, uh, which obviously we're still figuring out, but I'm seeing very early positive results from my repurposed content, that makes that 30 minutes have some serious ROI. All right, so let's jump in because I've been in here a few minutes and I hate when people don't get into the content. So five tips today. Number one, uh, don't ignore other scopes. So going live is not the only important part of Periscope. Right now, what you guys are doing, engaging in the comments, connecting, sharing your business, uh, be, that is a huge, huge value. Uh, Jen said, I posted in my Facebook group, we got a ton of response. Exactly, that, that content can, can live on. Um, but engaging in other scopes, connecting with each other, knowing that these people are doing these things and sharing these things, that's going to that's gonna help you find more people to follow. It's also going to help you find uh, people who you want to connect with off of Periscope. Uh, and it'll also help you engage with potential clients. I have, in fact, not just gotten business and leads from Periscope where I was scoping. I have, in fact, sold things and, and gotten email sign up to my list from being a commenter in Periscopes. I know it's crazy to think about, um, but when you come in and you just provide value uh, in any way you can, I'm sorry, I had hair stuck in my ring, um, in any way you can, then you're going to see those benefits. You're going to see that value. Uh, so it's not just about going live. It's not just about broadcasting. It's about engaging in the comments and other posts as well. Uh, if you if that's something you enjoy doing, hit me in the comments now and, and tell us what you scope about so that you guys can connect with each other. Um, if you're watching the replay of this, then head over to uh, the Hit The Mic VIP community and, and post it on the replay there uh, because that, that value in connecting with each other is just as big, especially if you're just starting out, especially if you don't have a lot of followers. This is key to growing your followership so that you can connect with each other uh, and 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 have people to broadcast to and, and grow that audience. All right? All right. So that's number one. Don't ignore other scopes. Number two is something you guys have seen me doing today, right now, which is engaging the viewers. Again, I've we could probably turn this into a drinking game, but... This is a two-way conversation. It's you and me and each other. So I guess that's more than two ways. But it's a conversation. It's not a broadcast. It's about us talking with each other. It's about us connecting with each other. It is not about me broadcasting information to you. Um, that's one of the things I love about this. That's why this is so much fun. And I love par I love podcasting. And I love doing my weekly web show. They're both great. But I have to wait a long time to get any sort of response. And I am an instant gratification girl. And so this allows me that instant gratification. I talk to you. You hit the comments. We talk back and forth. We get to engage. So make sure that you're not ignoring the comments. Make sure you're not ignoring your audience. Uh, thank you guys for the hearts. Absolutely keep them coming. Remember, we got that goal of 50,000 this week. So let's do it. Um, engaging the viewers is going to be a really powerful way uh, to keep people coming back as well. You know, there are several of you who this is not your first scope with me. There are several of you that are, are there are always going to be new people, but there are also people who come back going over and over again uh, because you get to... You get to know me. Uh, Cynthia says, me too. That's why I love doing live events. I agree. That's why I love speaking because I get to talk back and forth. I just, I find it so much fun. That's what I love about webinars, uh, speaking. I just, it's, it's nice to get that instant, instant connection, instant gratification. And there's something about that conversation via video that really cements that connection that really brings us together uh, and allows us to sort of be buddies, and and I love that. That's what that's why I do this. That's that's the whole purpose. Um, so yeah, again, to recap: number one, don't ignore the scopes. Number two, engage the viewers. Let's talk number three. And again, keep those hearts coming. Keep the comments coming. Remember, two way conversation. Uh, number three is kind of a uh, a cliche one, but be you. Do not put on a persona when you get on Periscope that's going to be like, okay, so if I say this and this works for so-and-so and so-and-so did that, so if I do all of these things, I'll be successful. No, you'll be successful if you show up as yourself and you provide the value you have 
to your community. That's the formula. That's the magic. It's not replicating what six other people are doing. It's about doing what you do and connecting with your people in the way that you need to. Uh, so be yourself. Come in, talk. If you are uh, somebody who only wants to do five, 10 minute scopes, great. Do five, 10 minute scopes. If you're somebody who can go 30 minutes, 40 minutes, <laughs> great. Um, but come in and do you. Be yourself. Engage with your audience. That's where the connection comes from. That's where the uh, long lasting value comes from. Because when you do that, then people really resonate with it and people really connect with you. And that connection is hard to fake and it's hard to force. But showing up real, and I know a lot of you are going to say you hate this word, but authentically is going to be different. Uh, I have the, I have that tattooed on my forearm, be you. That's awesome. I don't, I have a girl running that says, keep going. You can't see it very well there. Here, let's see. Yeah, it says keep going. Anyways, yes, I, I like that word too. I just think there's a lot of pushback on it because it's been used so much, but it's been used so much because it's true, because it's legit. People need to be authentic. Uh, stop trying to be somebody else. You know the people who are hitting massive success? They are not trying to be the people who had massive success before them. They are trying to be them. And that is what separates them. That is what makes them successful is doing their own thing. Uh, I mean, look at Richard Branson. He's not trying to be anybody, all right? Uh, all right, so recap. Don't ignore the scopes. Engage the viewers. Be yourself. Number four, are you ready? Yes, let's do this. Come ready with something. So you'll see me. I'm looking over here right now. And that's because I have notes. Because I will forget what I was going to say. I'm all, Okay, transparency. I'm all about it. I, I always have some notes of what I want to say. Uh, when I come in and I do an Ask Me Anything, which I'm going to do later today, uh, I'll have less notes. But I will still have some conversation points here so that I have something to talk about while you guys are typing your comments. Because I talk really fast. And I talk faster than you do this. So for me, I like having just some points to go some things to sort of follow along with. It keeps me on track. It also keeps me comfortable. If you're somebody who's nervous about this, then writing something out, having a plan, can be a really good security blanket. I don't necessarily get nervous on video anymore. I don't know why. Probably two years of doing it, three years of doing it now. Um, but I do get distracted and off course and forget where I came from. <laughs> So this helps me stay the course. This helps me make sure that I provide you maximum value. So have something ready. Have some notes. Even if you're going to do an Ask Me Anything, even if you do end up off course and you, and you don't come back to it, that's fine. But having something ready, so having something at the go uh, can be really helpful uh, to get the conversation moving, uh, especially with an Ask Me Anything or something like that. If you watch any of my scopes, which you can watch on YouTube, by the way, youtube.com slash with the mic, just check out the Periscope. Uh, replay. They're not all there. I mean, best chance is to check, catch them live. Um, but my favorite ones are up there. You'll notice that a lot of times I sort of just talk for a little while and then the conversation takes a life of its own. Those are my favorite. I'll be honest. Those are absolutely my favorite. Um, but having a little something ready at the go is really important, especially if people are joining and things like that. Uh, okay, so recapping, don't ignore the scopes, engage the viewers, be yourself, come ready with something, and we're ready for number five. Who's ready for number five? Hit me with some hearts. Thank you. I think hearts are over here, actually. Thank you. Uh, see this going, 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 guys. Uh, and of course, hit me with your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, my number five tip for success on Periscope. Thank you for the hearts. Keep them coming. Repurposing. So I mentioned a little bit about being able to to catch old uh, old scopes on YouTube. Uh, your hearts are peach. They're really cute. Uh, I like the peach and the reddish color that are going now. That's nice. Um, repurposing. I mentioned a little bit uh, that my scopes are up on YouTube. Yesterday I posted one as a video on my Facebook page. That was uh, a really big way to get super free engagement on my page and organic reach. Uh, and it helped the promo post that came behind it get some better reach. Uh, so pay attention to how you can utilize this content outside of Periscope. Uh, when you go live, full disclosure, this is what this is what today will look like. I will wrap the scope. Uh, once I do that, I will go get the link out of Twitter and I will schedule it to go out a few times 
uh, and I will share it in my other social networks and I will uh, share it in my VIP community, my private uh, free community. I'll share it in there. From there, I will uh, grab the video from my phone, run it through iMovie so I can put a background on it so it doesn't have black bars. Uh, I will upload it to YouTube and I will schedule it to go live tomorrow on YouTube when the replay expires on Periscope. That's what repurposing for me looks like. Uh, I also save them in case I want to use them on Facebook. I do not upload them all on Facebook. Um, how to do the background? Sure, yeah, I can show you guys. Uh, it's really easy. Um, and I'll show you, okay, so I'll show you guys that. And then rescheduling on Twitter is really, really easy. All you need to do is uh, go to Twitter. And I'm actually going to pull up Twitter here. Um, you guys are going to get to see my big money background. See? We're all about the money. All right, so this is Twitter, and if you look right here, that's the Periscope we're watching right now, right? So I know this is gonna, my hand is holding this, so it's going to be strange, but all you do is click this link, go up to the uh, URL bar, copy that. You can actually see we're live right now. Yay, that's us. Uh, and I'm gonna close that. And then using, I use Hootsuite, you can go in and schedule those tweets to go out. Uh, if you want to use Buffy, you want to use Sprout Social, use Sprout Social, whatever it is you want to use. Um, but then I just go in and, and schedule tweets saying, hey, uh, this is what we talked about. If I give shout outs to anybody, um, do that. Um, and it, Jen, it does expire from that link for 24 hours. So I include that in the tweet. Um, like this will expire at 6 a.m. Pacific time on blah, blah, blah. And then when it expires, the YouTube link is where I'll direct people. Uh, and so let's talk about how I do that background. Uh, that's great, thanks. Awesome, I'm glad you guys are liking this. Um, I actually do it through iMovie because that would be the extent of my video editing skills. <laughs> uh, and in full disclosure, the background I use is something that was created for me uh, by uh, my video editor. Uh, so that's something to consider. Um, you can also use a photo or something like that, but if you, and I'm going to just delete this here, uh, and I'm going to, I don't have a scope uploaded to my desktop right now, but this is, I, um, and all I would do is pull the scope in, and I'm actually going to pull one in that I already, actually, I might have one on my trash can. Hold on. Um, I do have one on my trash can. Okay, we'll pull that back to my desktop. And what I do is I pull in the video file, but you, again, you, in iMovie, there's backgrounds. So if you want to do, uh, I don't know, this gradient background, you could also create a photo background in, in Photoshop. Um, okay, so I just pulled in this underwater background, and now I'm going to pull in this video file and put it above it. And then you see, because the video file is vertical where the black bars would be you actually see that blue background so you don't have to create something if you don't want to mine is branded um i really like that um but if you just go into the maps and backgrounds right in iMovie you can pull something in so this will get you started and again you could create an image in 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 photoshop or canva or something just pay attention to the sizes i'm just going to close that um I don't repurpose my scopes as blogs. I create three pieces of content a week anyways. Um, I do two podcasts and a video show. Uh, so I don't worry so much about doing it as blogs. I just let it sit on my YouTube. Do you edit your video before putting it on YouTube? Uh, only if absolutely necessary. I generally run them as they are. And I can show you guys what I did with them over on YouTube. If you look, I actually have a Periscope playlist. So these are the periscopes I've uploaded so far, and what I do is I schedule them to go live when they expire. And again, I don't I don't upload all of them because some of them are you know just quick Q and A's. There's not a ton of value there in repurposing. Um, but what you can see is the ones I do were really keyword happy. So the number one thing you're skipping before you periscope, planning your week, uh, Q and A and announcements, and they all say from Periscope with these Stacey Harris. So people can really get those tips and get what they need. And so you guys can see what my background looks like. 
this is it live and that's that's the background my uh, my video editor created for me if you created a ba branded background in Canva can you up you can Cynthia you'll just need to download it and, and dump it into iMovie just like I did with this background um, but yeah that allows you to repurpose that content uh, and it to have some value for you my my for me, it really it really works well just as YouTube content because I pay attention to my YouTube channel. Thanks, Jen, for hanging out. I hope it was helpful. Um, for me, it was really it's really valuable to do that because it allows me to again add more content to my YouTube channel, which is something I pay attention to since I have a weekly web show. Um, but it, it's just about what works for you. And the other thing I, I want to point out is pay attention to the description. So it's very similar to all of my Hit The Mic TV episodes. We've got my bio, we've got some important links, and then up in the top we've got sort of what I talked about uh, and a link. So, oh, sorry. Uh, because I have a program on Periscope, which I'm going to talk about in just a second because that's I have a, a special gift for you guys today. Um, all of them include a link to that program because that program is brand new. It's still in the early bird. You can still save $100 on it. Uh, and I'm still... I'm still building that program and, and upgrading it and what's cool about that program specifically is you get lifetime access and as I make improvements you get the improvements but um, that allows me to easily market it via content marketing instead of having to run a bazillion dollars in ads and things like that uh, so speaking of the Rockstar Guide to Periscope I do have a bonus offer for you guys between now and when this video expires I'm going to be offering up, in addition to the program, which is usually $197, but as part of the Early Bird Special, is $97. Uh, I'm also going to be offering up one-on-one -on -one calls with me. 30-minute one-on-one brainstorm sessions all around Periscope, whatever it is you want to talk about, frankly, um, so that we can get you the same results I'm getting on Periscope. If you want to learn more about that program, go to the slash Periscope. Uh, and you can see this is the sales page. This is what you'll find. Uh, and then here's a breakdown of what we have inside the program. We talk about what pairs. We have an entire module on repurposing. Um, and, and honestly, how to get the impact from this network. How to, how to make those next steps uh, in sales and in, in community growth, which is the goal, right? So that's my special gift for you guys. I don't generally do 30-minute calls with my Rockstar Guides. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do some more, especially because... This program is brand new. I just launched this program Friday. Um, I put it together because of the crazy questions I was getting about Periscope. Uh, and so this program is still improving. You guys will be early adapters. Your feedback is what makes this program better. Um, I'm actually going to be adding another module today uh, because I've had some questions about how I did this background thing in iMovie. We're actually going to be adding a, a walkthrough on how to do that. So, you know, and I, a good version of what I just showed you to do how to do um, so that that people can can figure out how to go in the iMovie and really simply make this uh, make this background stuff work for them cool so yeah check that out the stacyharris.com slash periscope is where to go for that I'm really excited about it and you'll get a one-on-one -on -one call with me which uh, by the way is pretty cool because starting next year you won't be able to get on the phone with me one-on-one -on -one because I won't be doing one-on-ones anymore so that's really really cool uh, if you have any questions at any time about Periscope or anything else, tweet me. Hit the mic or at the Stacey Harris uh, on Twitter. Um, and if you want to learn more about what I do, uh, check out thestaceyharris.com. Before I wrap it up, do you guys have any questions? Thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you so much for the engagement. Um, again, two-way conversation. Without you, this stuff is not relevant. Uh, will you be able to give some general advice on Twitter too in the one to one yeah honestly that one-on-one -on -one is whatever you want uh, how do you suggest interacting but still staying on point I get frustrated with the content constantly being interrupted by hellos um, honestly I selectively engage sometimes um, if somebody is saying something that is not relevant to what I'm, I'm burning through right then as far as content uh, I will finish the content and, or I'll, I'll, I'll make a mention and say yeah we'll talk about that in just a second and sometimes I'll even write down like I'll make a note um, and power through the content. Other times I let the conversation take its own course. I will let the conversation work uh, how it needs to work to provide the best value for the people watching. Um, as far as hellos, I'll say hi, but once I get into content, 
Uh, I tend not to say as much hello, as you probably noticed, um, unless I can sort of fit it in quickly. Um, it just depends on how you're comfortable. Um, but for me, it's 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 got to be content first. Uh, but engagement is like first and a half. <laughs> it's like a half step behind it. Uh, so, but you you get to pick who you engage with and how you engage. Uh, you know, the same is true for the trolls. Just block them. Uh, but yeah, that's really helpful. But again, that those one on ones. I know I got a question. Um. Awesome. How about doing a fo follow up scope to answer questions you get too? Honestly, questions inside of scopes is a lot of how I get new Periscope's idea. I actually have, and I'll show you this in full disclosure. Again, I'm all about transparency. I actually have a document in my Google Drive that is uh, called Periscope Ideas. And as I get questions, and some of the questions you guys gave me today, well, I this stuff. Um, I've deleted some because we've done some scopes. That's how these topics start. The questions you get inside of Periscope, that's what people want to know about. So that's what you scope about, and that's how you get people in there uh, because that's that's really powerful. Uh, again, yeah, those one-on-ones, and you can ask me anything. So grab the guide, get the 30 minutes with me, and we can talk about whatever you want for 30 minutes. It's your time. Um, all right. Any more questions? I'm going to wrap it up. I will be around again later today. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, if you have any questions for me at any time, again, tweet me at the Stacey Harris. I'm around. Uh, I'm so glad it was helpful, Cynthia. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you again for the hearts. Uh, thank you for spending some time with me this morning. Uh, I know here on the western part of the United States, it's very early. Uh, first time listening to you. Awesome, Cynthia. Well, I hope you follow and you are around more because I really love uh, the community growth and, and hanging out with you and getting to meet new people. And that's what I really love a lot about Periscope is I've gotten to like build relationships really quickly with new people and, and be able to get to know them and, and say hi. And that's fun. I like knowing who you guys are, not just like that I'm talking to things. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks guys. I will see you next time. Uh, you have a question about hashtags, tweet it to me, um, at the Stacey Harris and I will answer it. Tweet it to me right now and I will answer it. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Maybe I'll talk about hashtags later, too. All right. Bye, guys.